This week, I'm not sure if you saw in the paper, there's another celebrity death. Pillsbury Doughboy died this week in his sleep at 71 of a long-standing yeast infection. His funeral was attended by dozens of celebrities, among those Miss Buttersworth, Hungry Jack, and Betty Crocker. <laughs> Auntie Mama gave a eulogy, and she referred to Doughboy as a man who was really needed. A role model for many. He is survived by his wife, Jane Doe, his children, John, Play, and Dosey. And there was one in the oven. Rather than the usual burial ceremony or cremation, he decided to be baked. So the funeral was Friday at 3.50 for 20 minutes. Nelson Mandela was in prison in Robben Island for 18 of his 27 years for a political offense. He received the lowest level of treatment while he was in prison. President Botha once offered Nelson Mandela uh, an exchange, a release. If he would just discontinue the struggle, if he would just discourage others in what he was doing, as you know, Nelson Mandela rejected that offer. And he continued in that same situation, knowing that if he'd just given in, if he'd just given up, he would have had the freedom that he wanted so much. But he refused to give up. And he was in prison another 10 years. And in 1990, February, the world rejoiced and cheered as a 71-year-old Nelson Mandela walked out of prison a free man. But he didn't just walk out with his freedom, but with his dignity, knowing that he fought for what was right. When you're in a right battle, it feels sometimes that you're fighting an uphill, going up the rough side of the mountain. But sometimes it's because you're finding your own way as you're doing it. You have to discover who you are not when things are easy. Sometimes finding who you are is during the difficult times. Something comes out of you that you never knew you had. A strength, a resiliency, a belief that you find that if you just believe in yourself that you can do anything that you can set your mind to. But it takes challenges sometimes to make us believe. To go beyond believing that we're just common. You're not. You're children of the Most High God. You're not ordinary, you're extraordinary. You're not usual, you're unusual. You're not plain. You're everything that God wants you to be to make this world a better place. But to do that, we have to give up our seat sometimes. There was a friend of mine when we were childhood, I mean, childhood friend of mine named Lewis. And Lewis never played fair. And no matter what we played, when we played cops and robbers or, you know, all kind of little things like that, and Lewis just refused to die. I would shoot him point blank. I said, Lewis, I shot you. And Lewis always had an excuse. He said, what I'm wearing is a bulletproof vest, so when you shot me, it bounced off my vest and it really hit you. And I'm like, come on, Lewis, man, I shot, no, I shot you. And I, we would have explosions, I would blow him up. He says, no, you didn't blow me up. It was always an excuse. He just refused to die. I didn't like Lewis. <laughs> and what happens for some of us is that we begin to die well before they bury us. Our dream dies. Our hope dies. The aspiration for all the things that you ever desire to be dies. And you'll never believe that you can be, well, well maybe I could have been somebody. I want you to know that at age 65, Beethoven began to do his greatest work. Frank Lloyd Wright, his greatest work was past 60 and 70 years of age. Moses was called at 80 years old. 
Just don't give up. Nothing in you is dead. Oh, you may not be able to dance like you used to. Rejoice in your suffering. Rejoice as you're going through. Knowing that the suffering is producing perseverance in us. And we're meant to persevere. We're meant to keep going. Persevering means we're not going to give up. Wherever we are, know that God is doing a work right here. And we're going to persevere, not give up. Your victory is in your struggle. Your victory is not afterwards. Your victory is while you're going through it. Proclaim your victory in the middle of your struggle. So often we get to after the struggle and we want to talk about the victory. No, talk about your victory in the middle of your struggle. God says rejoice in the midst of suffering. Count it all joy as you're going through various trials and tribulations. Knowing this, that the testing of your faith, it's not you, it's your faith. And God says if you have the faith, then you already overcome this. So just rejoice as you're going through it. You've already overcome. Things will go wrong just when you sit out on your journey. You decide to do something and what happens? Something breaks. Something goes wrong. There's always going to be something that goes wrong. Expect that, that it's not going to work like you imagined it. It's always going to cost more, take longer. There's going to be roadblocks and obstacles. Trust me, that's part of your journey to success, knowing that sometimes things will go wrong. Resist the critics. There are going to be people that make discouraging comments while you're struggling. You want support. They should be supporting you. What people are criticizing and talking about you behind your back. But I want you to know that's part of progress. I want you to show you a few people that have succeeded. These are some, a few successes that you may know. Babe Ruth, a famous home run hitter who had the home run record for many years, also led the record in strikeouts. Henry Ford failed and went broke five times before he succeeded. Winston Churchill failed sixth grade. And he subsequently was defeated in every election in public office until at 62 years of age, he became prime minister. Steven Spielberg, a household name, dropped out of high school right here in Scottsdale. He could finish high school in California. He applied to film school and three times was unsuccessful in getting in USC film school because he had a C average. What happened if these people that refused just roll over and decide to give up. You never reach your goal with a giving up attitude. You have to decide that you're going to go on regardless of whatever situation, no matter what people say. Be willing to keep going. 